Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Dusk's Tale. Now, last episode, we managed to get this little bed built up. We made our home a little bit more homely. Now, I am wanting to make that hoe. Um, however, the only issue with this is that it takes a long, long time. It will take about five hours for us to do it. So we want to make sure that uh, we're all good to go before we do that. So I'm going to come on into here and we are going to have a drink first of all and then we're going to have some breakfast even oh no it is actually the morning for a change so that does kind of make a difference. It's raining outside at the moment so that means that our water is going to be filling up at the moment so if we have a look examine our vehicle yeah we can see that the the regular water is at 100% now 100% salt water 100% water and 7% clean so we are going to have to um we're going to have to work it work on it eventually uh, so a few of you have reminded me of what I was actually looking for originally and that was a food co kitchen buddy that's what I'm after okay so there are a few things for that we actually need to be able to make this first and this is to allow us to kind of like build in a cooking station of sorts uh, and this does all kinds of things however we are going to be missing a few of these items a vacuum sealer a food dehydrator water purifier etc so are we going to be able to make those things? We might be able to. We've got metal working now, so we might be able to make some of them. A steel frame, I'm pretty sure we'd be able to make, but it's more kind of complex um, electronics like the vacuum sealer and the food dehydrator, the purifier, etc. That might be a little bit more difficult for us to do. Hand press and die set will be good for us to make eventually because if we ever want to make weapons or anything like that, we are going to need that hand press and die set. So I think first of all, let's just have a quick search for the vacuum sealer just to see what we've got. okay no okay so we won't be able to make a vacuum sealer at least uh from the recipes that we know so far so that's uh that is checked off the menu um a food dehydrator was another one and i'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be the same yeah the same kind of deal there as well well I guess the easiest thing for us to do will be finding a vehicle finding an rv that actually has an rv kitchen in it and we'll be able to use that um it's going to have a lot of the things that we'd need to be able to do this, so, yeah. I've just realized we've got a water faucet with us at the moment that we don't actually need, so we'll just go and drop that back there along with those nails. Uh, anything else that we don't need right now? The funnel, we don't need. Um, and I think we're going to hold on to everything else for the time being. Now, we're going to make some food. We need to make some food, but uh, I think after that, I am going to want to try and spend a little bit of time trying to get that hoe. And the reason I want to get the hoe now, I don't think we're going to be able to get much planted before autumn's over. I don't think we're going to be able to get much to grow, but ideally what I was wanting to try and do was set up a, a wheat field of sorts just out the front here because um, flour is going to be pretty useful for us. Um, I can actually see that there is a horde hanging out by the swamps. So the hordes are a lot more prevalent near the towns and um, we do need to be careful because we are closer now. So if we are making a lot of noise, you know, even the saxophone playing, that might be enough to draw in a horde to the mansion. And that's the last thing that we want right now. Something else that we also need to try and keep, I need to try and keep in my, in my memory banks is that we need to keep on trying to work towards those alpha um, serums. It's going to take a lot of mutagen to be able to do that. But one of the main things that we need for that to be able to make mutagen is uh, the tainted meat. Tainted meat's a, a, a big part of that. So we're essentially bubbling it down and we're taking the, the goo, I suppose, the black goo, what's left of it, that was uh, kind of in the tainted meat. And that's what we're using to make our purifiers, our mutagens. It's, it's what causes these strange changes in human anatomy and is actually getting people to rise back from the dead as well. So... It can do all kinds of things, but I think the first thing we've got to do is jump in and make ourselves some food. Uh, what kind of food? Uh, not so sure. Not so sure. We could make things with the meat that we've got. That's entirely possible. Um, we don't actually have any more broth left, do we? No. No, we don't. Um, can we make any more bone broth? It looks like we can make bone meal, but uh, oh, we've only got one human bone, so that's the reason why we can't make any more. Okay. We can make rehydrated meat, but um, let's see. Meat pie. Maybe we could just make a couple of pies because we've still got some more flour in there. It's going to give us a mix of uh, a mix of vitamins. Yeah. Yeah, I think that could be worth it. Just looking to see if it actually is going to be. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at everything else that's there. I still think it's probably going to be 
worthwhile. So let's go ahead, make some pies. How many portions do we get? We get six portions per each, so that's gonna be 12 all up. Um, how heavy are they? Not very. Let's go for three. It's gonna take a little bit more, and we're gonna use the survive misket. So that is using our oil each time we do that, so we kinda need to be wary of that we are spending that oil. Okay, we're very hungry, so it's gonna take quite a bit of pies. And we actually got slate from that as well, so uh, yeah, okay, that's good. We didn't get full. I didn't wanna get slate super, super full. And they're still going and opening the door. God damn. I'm really gonna to have to create like a little lounge area for them to sit on, just so that they don't wanna keep on going up to that point there. Because um, if we do look, no, we don't, we can't actually, there is no way we can change the crew here. Yeah. Need at least one seat. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Oh well. It is what it is. We can actually repair that. We want to repair that door with the makeshift well. That's going to take 75 charges. I think it's okay. We don't need to worry about that. That's not a problem. But uh, I am going to go up and I'm going to see if I can get this damn thing made. Um, I'm kind of hoping that the others... I think they're close enough. They were close enough before. Um, I'm hoping they're close enough again to help us out in making this hoe. Okay, so we've got everything that we need over here, which is good. It's going to take quite a few charges of the electric forge uh, to do this because we're melting down the, uh, melting down, what are we using? Chunk of steel? Okay, and then we'll be bashing that into shape using our anvil. Okay, well, let's get to it. Five hours and 20 minutes. It's difficult for us to make as well. I'm going to try once. If we fail, then that's it. But uh, we are just going to keep trying throughout the day. We got venomous and thin, we lost thin skin. Oh, and we got the hoe. Perfect. A great sequence of events. Um, venomous. Okay, so this is definitely, we're definitely still very spider-like. And um, I love that you are, you're all pointing out in the comments that dusk mutation seems to work with the environment that she's in. Which is strange because I know that's not the case in the game. But... It, it really is working out this way before we were deep in the forest and we were getting all of like the fey and forest like traits and now we've got this huge you know uh kind of hive of spiders right near us and she's becoming more spider like she's becoming arachnid um let's check out venomness because that could be quite cool your body produces a potent venom cutting or stabbing attacks from mutations have a chance to poison your target i don't know how well poison effects did um, I know that living things it will affect them a decent amount. Um, so that means that our claws and our mandibles are both going to have poisonous effects associated with them. Which I am definitely on board with. Yeah, it deals a minor amount of cutting damage. Very nice. Cool. Okay, well even if it's a little bit, that's enough to break the skin and allow the venom to get in. So... Yeah, that actually kind of rhymed in a weird way. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna have a drink again, just straight from the tap, and we're gonna have some more of our meat pies, which is still nice and fresh. Just eat up the pies. And can we eat one more? No, we'll leave it at that then. We have the hoe now, fantastic. So we actually have that in our inventory at the moment. So we are going to take that, and we're gonna take, uh, let's see, we're gonna take the buckwheat seeds. Um, I don't think we're going to plant a whole heap of blueberry, even though we've got a hundred goddamn blueberry seeds. Um, the buckwheat's going to be the most important thing for me. Um, and saying that, we probably could plant some blueberry as well, so maybe we do go for like a, a kind of semi-equal number of them. Yeah, maybe I'll just grab another 12 blueberry seeds, just so it's uh, kind of even-ish. Okay, so we're going to go out the front. That's where we're going to try and do this work. Um, it's not... We're doing okay outside. No. Oh, it's because we're slaked. Okay, well, we'll wait until we become a little bit more thirsty before we can uh, eat that pie. Because it's hydrating us slightly as well. Okay, so we are seeing a grappler zombie to the... Uh, well, I guess we aren't see Oh, it's inside. Son of a bitch. Hello. Hi. How did you get inside here? I guess uh, noise or, you know, any number of things could have attracted it. Or is that like the... I swear we we, we, we bashed one outside. Um, oh, and he did actually grab us. So you, this is why grappler zombies are really dangerous when you're in cars. Because if a grappler zombie grabs you... So this is a grappler zombie, not a grabbing zombie. Because like there's, I think there's two different ones. The grappler zombies are different. Um, have we read the grappler zombie? 
I think so. Undead humanoid in elongated arms drag along the ground as it moves. It looks almost to have a hunch from a swollen back from swollen back and shoulder muscles tearing through its skin. So it's got very, very strong back muscles. And so essentially its arms reach out and grab you. That can be really bad if you're in a car because if you're traveling diagonally, the it doesn't register the gap. Well, it, the, it, it creates a gap between the vehicle and you can actually be pulled out of your, out of your car. So it's really bad and that can kill you because if you are traveling at that speed and you get pulled out, you get hit by the car, bad things. It's quite bad. So having your seat on the edge of the car can be quite dangerous. Uh, but yes, so the grappler zombie grabbed us. It's pulled us in. So we can't move from where we are now. So we're just going to start slashing at it. And look at that. We poison the grappler zombie. So our tail whips out and slaps into it. I keep forgetting we've got that lizard tail as well. Um, oh, wow. Anyway, we're doing a lot of damage there. And we're poisoning it even more with um, each slash. We're biting into it as well with our fangs. Bam, and it's dead. And it actually says you bite into it with your fangs. But I'm guessing it means the mandibles. Because we don't have fangs anymore. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Grappler Zombie. Let's come over here. We're just going to butcher this one right away. And I'm going to grab the tainted flesh and the tainted bone and the ones that are actually outside i might see if we can still get something from them i don't know whether or not we'll be a oh no maybe we will actually let's go ahead and unload that flashlight um and i might actually take the flashlight because the flashlight we can use to create um our lights we'll go ahead and butcher that sucker um i don't know if it makes a difference if it's if it's uh, rotten or not um we will find out soon enough we're not trying to eat it so i think it should be okay Go ahead and butcher this body as well. Take the tainted bones. Ah, right. Maybe it would have been worthwhile me. Uh, yeah. We're going to run back. And I might grab Carton just because um, there's always a chance we're going to end up carrying more things. I should have uh, thought of that. And the tainted meat, where are we going to put that for now? I think we're just going to put it down with the rest of the um, medicinal bits and pieces. Yeah. And the tainted bone, I'm just going to take straight outside get around you all uh, the sun is disturbing our skin currently okay we've got charcoal in there at the moment uh, what happened to the tainted bone I just chucked on the ground at least I thought I did ah right remove remove stuff from the kiln before firing it again okay so let's go tainted bone okay I won't fire it just yet because uh, it'll be good to get the other things in there we're still slaked so I hope I probably won't be able to to eat anything let's go ahead wield the telescopic umbrella just so we don't get hurt outside in the sun that albino, that albino trait is going to be there pretty much forever. Um, okay, cut up the feral hunter. And we'll go ahead and take those bits. Okay, and take the bones. Great! Okay, so this is the area outside here where I'm wanting to do a little bit of work with our hoe. So the it took a lot longer to kind of till the ground with um, our entrenching tool. So I'm wanting to see how quickly it will work with the hoe. So... Oh, 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 it does it on the spot that you're on, and it does it quite quickly. Okay, I wasn't actually anticipating being that close to the glass, but I guess that's what we're going to do now. So, it's just A and C. Wow, it's very fast. That's great. Okay, so I haven't actually been counting there. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Damn, that's so close to being able to get the, the full amount that I kind of wanted. Um, let's go ahead and just shift all these things just to the side for now. Uh, yeah, like so. Great. And yeah, the hoe makes this so much faster. So this was taking a very long time for us to do before. Um, and now it's going to make the process of us planting things here so much easier. And so we're just going to go buckwheat. Yeah, so much faster. Infinitely faster. And uh, we can use things like fertilizer on them if we want to. I don't think we're going to need to. And I'm just going to do another row now while we're here. Swap positions. And essentially that's how we're going to do our little farm, just out the front of here. Um, and I might as well get all the blueberries planted. I mean, why not, right? So we're just going to do a few lines up here. And then I'm going to go back and get the rest of the blueberry seeds, because we've got quite a few of them. So all I'm doing at the moment is just going activate and just moving along like so perfect okay now let's go back and get the blueberry seeds i might get other seeds as well um i can't 
100% remember what we had there. The Detura, I don't think we're going to need for anything right now. I don't know what we can make with um, Detura. Um, I know that we can make some kind of tea with it though. Um, oh right, an, anal an analgesic and a deliriant. Okay, all right. There's also canola seeds which we could turn into oil, so that's probably quite useful for us to plant. So we're going to take uh, we're going to take both of those and uh, head on down. Uh, I don't know where we're going to be able to get more canola seeds from. Um, I canola seeds would be from what? Is it from dandelions? I can, I should know. I should know this. I really should. I'll, I can't know everything, unfortunately. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead, and this is where we're going to be planting the blueberry seeds, which is going to be pretty much the majority of what we're planting. Okay, just rocking on through. Uh, I could probably do it, yeah, I'm going to do it like this from now on. Uh, okay, just so it's the fastest kind of way for us to plant. I'll try and get the rhythm right. Okay, we're going to have to swap with you. I don't know why, but like, this is, uh, to, to, to try and do this quickly is taking a lot of brain power for some reason. Um, so we obviously have more blueberry seeds here than we have space, um, well, than what we have actually put down right now. So there is uh, a lot more that we can plant in the area. So I might, uh, I might need to think about uh, where else we put this. And um, the blueberries, it will be good to be able to turn them into a jam or something like that, be able to preserve them, uh, which is what we probably will end up doing. But uh, it's going to be a good source of vitamins as well. So I feel like getting all this planted now is good, even though come winter it's going to be pretty much useless, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm going to leave the other side kind of um, for, for our wheat. Uh, so where would we want to do the canola? I guess we could kind of do them in between, maybe. I'm going to have to shift these things along, just so they're not on our... Not in our fields. Okay, yeah, I, I guess we could do some more along here. Just in between, and actually have something different planted. Uh, I guess the only problem with that is that it takes a while to move along those mounds, but... Uh, it is what it is. It's too cold to plant anything now. Oh, wow. Did I, like, just get that in time? Maybe. Hmm. Okay, I guess we won't plant anything for now. <laughs> okay, let's get inside. Uh, the umbrella was keeping us feeling pretty good. Let's have that. And I think we're probably going to try and just cook up some mutagens now. And I'm probably... Yeah, we're going to make as many mutagens as we can, and then just see if we can start progressing to making some of the other bits and pieces. Okay, alright, let's see, where are we at? Uh, I should have access to all the meat that's around us at the, at the moment. Um, saying that, you know what, let's go make some more charcoal, just because we can. So, let's come out here, drop more tainted bones into there, and let's go ahead and fire the kiln. Okay, and I really need to get those wheels. Uh, wheels? Not wheels, uh, seats. Sorted for those two. Okay, alright, so let's go across to chemical and mutagen. So we can make a purifier serum. Uh, we're just going to make the mutagen for now. We're going to make as many as we can. Looks like we can make three. Okay, so we shall. And what are we going to use, ammonia or lye powder? I feel like ammonia because I feel like we can create ammonia. We can create ammonia, we can create bleach. Um, I, I can't remember exactly what the ingredients are that we need into a container we need to also make sure that we have enough as well um we might not uh oh we've got a lot of small plastic bottles so we might just use those i think that's fine that's what we were using for our broth we've got uh open tin cans as well i guess that we could put them in okay nice that's all poured away and we've still got some tainted meat on us so i think we how many do we need to actually make mutagen Oh, we can make one more. Weird. Okay, that's strange. Uh, okay. Oh, we got tainted tallow as well that we can use. Okay, so we should theoretically be able to make two. Maybe it's because of the chemistry set running out of... Uh, could quite possibly be the chemistry set that's run out of um, charge. So let's go ahead and search for it here. Chem. Okay, the chemistry set, it's got 75 charges. So we're just going ahead and just reload that really quickly. So that should be under our tools, chemistry set, 
go ahead and reload that sucker. Going through those batteries pretty quick. This is another one of those things that I do want to, um, you know, modify. Go ahead and drop that there. And let's go back again and see how many we can create. Okay, we can do, we can create a lot more there than we could before because of the charges. Yeah, we can make a whole lot. Yeah, so look, we can, we can make bleach. So that's just for salt water. So that's why the, the salt water is important. Um, so it's literally just salt water that we need to make bleach. Okay, great. And ammonia is with charcoal, which we have a lot of. Um, scrap metal and water. Perfect. Okay, so we can make a lot of those quite easily. So that's not a problem. Antiparasitic drug we can make as well. Nice. And uh, thermite we could actually use to burn down the doors. So um, it might be a good idea for us to make some thermite. A handful of silvery greenish powder produced by mixing aluminium and chromium oxide this mixture burning at a constant pace and at extreme high temperature was once used for on-the-spot welding can be used as an incendiary material in a pinch so ideally i would imagine we'd be able to use that to melt through some of the metal doors um i don't know how we'd activate it if you drop it there and then light it on fire i know that's generally a bad thing in cataclysm you can create some pretty bad bombs by doing that um even if you just got like a pile of ammunition, put it on the ground and you light it on fire, that's a very quick way to die. People accidentally dropping ammunition into fireplaces in this game as well has killed a lot of people. I imagine, unfortunately, it's probably the same thing in real life as well. Okay, so we are making mutagen. How many are we making? We're making just one, apparently. <laughs> Even though I feel like we've got enough. Oh, well, it is what it is. Okay. So we're going to use the tainted tallow nearby. We're going to use the chemistry set. Um, I guess we don't need to use the chemistry set. We could just use the cooking set that we got, but I feel like the chemistry set just works. Uh, so we're going to put that in these small plastic bottles. Um, does that mean that we actually have that one now? No, we don't. Okay, good. Um, okay, so we should still be able to make another one. Uh, we, we can't. And we can't make one because we're out of bleach. Aha! So let's go ahead and make ourselves a few batches of bleach. So, muta bleach. No, just uh, some regular bleach. Thank you, Dusk. Okay, nice. Um, so it takes 24 minutes, it takes 50 charges. So it takes a, it actually takes a decent amount for us to be able to do this. So this is the kind of thing where I think having a fireplace nearby would be good. Or, you know, us actually having um, solar panels so that we have power and we have a working kind of oven. For now, we're just going to be using the um, batteries that we have available to us. And it looks like we can make three things of bleach. I don't, we get two portions of it. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. We want to use the salt water nearby. And we're going to go ahead and pour it into a container, and we're going to pour it just into that one there. Great, okay. So now let us go back and attempt to make some more mutagen. And that's what we're after. We can just make the one because we just have the tainted meat. Good, chemistry set. Pour into a container, and just another small bottle. Okay, so we should have, um, we should have a few... So we've got the purifiers, nice. Uh, we should have a few bottles of mutagen there as well so let's just do a quick all-around search and we're going to go muta okay so uh, one hmm oh no amount two yeah but we should have more than that oh apparently we do actually have some just north of us okay that's weird what is that doing in here and we got some canola seeds there as well, we'll take them and we got some garlic cloves as well and hickory roots <laughs> strange uh, i'm gonna take them out of there we have a solar cell um okay there three three plastic bottles of mutagen yeah i guess as long as it's close by it doesn't really matter where it is but i generally like the drugs th drugs things to stay in the drug pile it's pretty chilly in here because they they like to leave the door open unfortunately I guess that is what it is. We've got some beast serum in there as well still, but I don't think we want to do anything with that. And we actually do have the, we do have slime serum. Nice, we still have that left over. So I, th I think that will help us make at least one uh, alpha serum. Or oh, maybe not, because we need to make the alpha purifiers, uh, sorry, the alpha mutagens before we make the serum. And the serum's made out of two alpha mutagens. So it, it takes a lot to be able to do that. Uh, I'm very quickly just going to break up that garlic clove. Um, let's see. Where is that under? 
I, I, for some reason, have just completely missed it. Garlic. Garlic clove. Ah, oh, right, they are garlic cloves, they're not garlic bulbs, okay. Okay, drop off those. And I will just hold on to the seeds, will I not? No, we're gonna put them down for now. Um, so, we need to get some more dead. We need to, we need to go and get some more tainted meat. So that means that maybe going after something like that horde would be a good idea, or even just trying to just slowly work our way towards the town. What do we got? We got a garage there. The garage and the bank are right on the outside of town. I think that I would be willing for us to go and check that out. And you know what? It is it is nighttime, and this is probably the best time for us to do that. So we are going to be going to town. Um, right. We don't need the hoe on us right now, so let's go ahead and leave that behind. Um, probably don't need the entrenching tool as well. Uh, I, I would say we don't need the atomic night. Atomic lamp, and I don't think we do in this scenario, so we're going to drop that off as well. And I'm also going to drop off the hickory root, and we're going to drop some charcoal just on the spot here. Yeah, okay. And you know what? We're going to take one of those multivitamins now, just for the heck of it. How are we doing? Just checking that we haven't got anything else crazy. No, still seems relatively the same. Okay. All right, we're gonna be getting a move on to town the first time. All right, come inside. Close up, they've closed up, good. All right, let's grab Cartman and get moving. Uh, we do have some two by fours in here, which I'm probably gonna to wanna to get rid of before we go into town because we just, we don't really need them to be <laughs> there. So let's go ahead and just drop those and drop that as well. Nice, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell them not to sit in this as well because it's the same thing. Yeah, uh, you can't you can't change the crew on this. Um, they will just try and sit in it. I guess that's the thing. So, oh well, not much I can do there. Unfortunately, we're going to keep our own brother up as well, and we'll make our way outside. I kind of don't like that I've done this now. I don't think if we can, I don't think we can until the earth, but I might try and do something like that because I think having the space in between is going to make it easy just for us to move up and down. Man, our telescopic umbrella, it's very close to uh, just straight up dying. It's uh, 7.30, the sun has completely set, it's very dark out. As we know, there is, uh, there's no power in town. Uh, we'll just sit at that kind of range for now. But we are making our way for the very first time to Mount Auburn, the actual township. Where we can see that there is a crater up here as well, which um, I think is quite cool. Um, I, th I think that's a where a missile is hit, and actually hit right next to a, a fire station, so that's uh, interesting. Um, that that quest was for, was that for Bradley? Maybe, no, no it wasn't actually, it was for the other person. I'm trying to remember their name now, but I can't remember off the top of my head. All right, well let's keep on heading up to the kind of northwest. Just kind of going across every now and then. Um, this, the, the, I guess the thing with town is, um, the longer we take to get to town, um, the more dangerous it is going to be. And it's, it's, it's been like that for a while, in that, uh, the, the longer we're away, the more dangerous it's going to be. Because, uh, everything that's in town will start to mutate over time. Like, like what was happening with the zombie master. But, um, with them, they, oh, it's mutated poppy again. They, they don't do it as fast, but uh, they do still mutate, and they become stronger and more advanced as the uh, the blob works within their bodies. Okay, alright, so we can see, what what is that building up there actually? Sporting goods store, and a grocery store, good. And another grocery store, okay nice. The bank I want to hit up as well, but uh, unfortunately we don't have a stethoscope with us. I should have looked at bringing something like that. Okay, well we're gonna make our way up towards this garage now. And I've just realized that we haven't brought a, um, a crowbar or um, any lockpicks, which might be an issue if the, if the door isn't open. Okay, all right, we can open the, open the garage door. So he can't see us currently, but we can see him. We start to approach the tough zombie in the darkness, and I realize that the umbrella is still out. <laughs> so I just drop it to the ground for now. Because that's the fastest way, instead of us putting it back into a bag, we lash out. Oh, 
attacking the zombie, but the zombie, the tough zombie grabs us, we poison it with our bite. We slash into him, throwing him backwards. The other two, not seeing what's happening, only hearing. We slash again, and the zombie falls. Dead to the ground. Okay, let's go ahead and butcher that sucker, and we're just going to take all these bits and pieces. We're going to take the telescopic umbrella as well, and I'm just going to go and drop them off in here real quick, like, uh, not you, just you. Okay, let's get this door open. Okay, now we want to get inside, and we want to make sure that the, the others are well inside before we go and close this, because uh, they can quite easily get crushed. So it looks like, yeah, there is an eight cylinder, or sorry, a one cylinder, but 0 0.8 liter engine it's a pretty weak engine but uh nothing else back here wow this is a very <laughs> empty garage holy crap uh what is this fold vehicle it's a light frame a foldable uh, this is a foldable light frame a telescopic crane what it's an engine crane oh for lifting engines out of vehicles that's quite cool it's a foldable light frame can we fold it up then you painstakingly pack the engine crane into a portable configuration. How heavy is it? Actually not that heavy. Nice, we're gonna go ahead and drop that into here. That's why the folding frames can be really quite cool. Uh, okay, where where is it then? Uh, folded engine crane. Nice. Yeah, foldable frames are really, really cool in this. Okay, to the northwest. Uh, explosion up there somewhere and it was quite an explosion at that um, what do we got just some work pants some gloves no nothing that we need so let's look at moving on this garage was a complete bust there is absolutely nothing in here for us uh, and saying that though we might be able to just bash up one of these or even just deconstruct are we gonna have any metal in the counter no uh, so we'll go ahead and deconstruct one of those lockers what we want to try and do is just quickly make ourselves some yeah, I want to see about making us some lockpicks. Okay, so we need scrap metal, so we actually need to bash it up, which is... <laughs> um, but we can't, like, tear it up, can we? Unfortunately, we can't. We're just going to have to smash this to pieces. So, let's go ahead and wield our hammer, and we'll just go ahead and start smashing this, which, unfortunately, is going to make quite a bit of noise. Come on, son of a bitch. Okay, we've got some scrap metal. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to need light for a moment, so we'll just turn on our flashlight. This is, I guess, a little dangerous, doing things this way. And we want to go and make ourselves some lockpicks. How many can we make? Let's go ahead and make 10, because uh, they don't have any capacity. Well, they, they don't have any volume at all. So there is something definitely outside. Let's go ahead and just put that hammer back into our inventory. Okay, and we should have those improvised lockpicks. Yes, we do. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Let's get this thing open and I'm just gonna leave it open I'm not gonna worry about closing it we are going to go I'd like to go to the grocery store and the sporting goods store so we're just gonna start to work our way up there now and I'm gonna see what was creating all that fuss outside okay just a giant rattlesnake okay we're, we're poisonous too mr. rattlesnake so we'll let him come for us we strike out poisoning the rattlesnake we strike again it bites at our torso doing some damage our chitin protects us for the most part as we Slash at the giant rattlesnake again, finally killing the thing. Okay, and Daytora, no, but we are going to go ahead and grab these things, and I'll just go grab the vehicle. Ah, hang on. There we go. It just makes it a little bit easier for us to uh, transport it. And we'll take everything but the stomach, just because the stomach seems to go off quite quickly. Okay, so we're, we're very close to these stores. Um, let's see if we can find our way around. Should start getting our stamina back any moment now. Okay, let's first of all see if it's open. And it's open! Okay, well that worked out quite well for us, didn't it? <laughs> okay, a bow sight, we'll take it. Uh, let's come over and get some of that thread. Yes, please. We've got a heat pack, we'll take it, why not? Cataclysm t-shirt, nice. And more explosions. Hot damn. A lot of explosions. Oh, flint and steel, nice. Fantastic. Good. Um, that's for starting fires. Beer grill styles. Okay, pair of safety glasses. These stores are very empty. 
I'm surprised there isn't a lot here in Mount Auburn, but we're hearing so many explosions, it leads me to believe that there has to be a minefield to the northwest of us, which means there's a minefield in the town. Either that, or there is a roadblock that's creating all this noise, which is entirely possible. Got a great big church, library, pharmacy, got a dojo. Dojo could be really good for us because that's going to have some martial arts books. I'm tempted for us to just sneak our way there. There's there's also a gun store across the road and a hardware store as well, which um, that's a little difficult for me to pass up. I think we're going to hit these grocery stores first though and see how we do. Um, we've got a vehicle right out the front there. It'll be interesting to see if we can get something like that working. What kind of car are you? You're a fire truck. Okay. And it works. Holy shit, it works. Ah, uh, no, the controls are broken. It says most damaged door, but the, the controls are broken. So, unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to drive it. Okay, so, grocery store. We're going to take everything that's preserved in here. And I am just going to be picking it up ourselves, just for now. Putting it into our own backpack. Uh, we've, got a, <laughs> we've got vending machines back there, which I'm probably going to come back for in just a moment. But um, we are just going to go through the rest of the place first. Just taking whatever food we can. Bag of yeast. Oh, god damn it. I knew I was going to step into it eventually. Um, let's see. Well, let's just go through the store and grab what we can. Uh, ethanol, yes. Fruit wine. Fruit wine is meant to be great. It's meant to be really, really good for us. Uh, I've heard a lot of people raging about fruit wine. Uh, let's have a quick read. See what kind of vitamins it has. I guess it's just like a... Yeah, it's just a cheap booze made from f fermented fruit juice. I guess it's just a good mood booster. Enjoyability 2, Nutrition and Quench. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, well maybe we'll, we'll look at making some... That's what we could maybe use uh, some of the blueberries for, potentially. Uh, what do we have in here? Drama novel, comic book, thriller novel, and a matchbook. We'll take matchbook, why not? Uh, what is that? Calcium tablets, yes. So many explosions. Holy crap. Okay, and this must be like the chiller section back here. Like, that's so cool. I like that. Well, yeah, it's going to be rotten. Pretty much, I imagine most of this stuff is going to be rotten if it's got uh, regular foods in it. Okay, what do we got? Cardboard box? No, okay. Uh, so, my question is, is there anything in that back room? And can we get to that back room? Uh, yeah, looks like we can. I'm imagining that's the bathroom. Uh, let's have a look. Let's use some of these improvised lockpicks. It's going to damage a lot of them. Um, there we go. Got it open. Ah, damn it. Crowbars again. Okay, alright. Um, I kind of want to know what's in there. <laughs> um, these explosions. There's so many. Um, okay, alright. So we, we're going to need a pipe. Uh, let's see if we can go over here and deconstruct this furniture. Wow, that takes quite a while to do. Okay, all right, we're gonna have to go ahead and attempt to make a makeshift. Crowbar. Why can't we make it? What are we missing? Pipe. Is there not pipe there? Oh, it's copper tubing. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, that's the thing. Um, I'm not super concerned about what's in there, really. I can pass it up, I can live without it. And that's going to lead us outside. What's that? Oh, that's the, that's the garage. Okay. God damn these explosions. Okay, alright. Well, that's one grocery store down. There are There's some more things across the road, but I think we might want to go up and just hit that other grocery store real quick. Uh, okay, so we are... See, oh, okay, it's in, it's in the vehicle. We might actually be able to get away from it. It might not uh, detect us. Or, and then again, maybe it has detected us. <laughs> okay, so we've got a vehicle here. Make our way across the road. Our antennas should also tell us when we're running into trouble as well. We can actually see some shopping carts there. Okay, what the hell is that? It's a tank. It's a tank. And I actually think it works. <laughs> I actually think it works. Wheels enough. Diesel, battery. I think this tank fucking works. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's see. What have we got in there? A pair of earplugs. I'm not surprised that there would be earplugs in here. With the, uh, yeah, the caliber of um, what we're dealing with. 120, yeah, rounds. Okay. Yeah. 
This thing is a freaking beast. And I think, I think we can actually drive it. Um, whether we would drive it, I'm not so sure. Uh, God damn. Could we bring a tank back to the base? Yeah, I suppose we could bring a tank back to the base, maybe. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a pin in it. <laughs> We're gonna put a note, and I'm just gonna say tank. Uh, because I do want to come back for that tank, but I want to go around the rest of this place first, because obviously moving around in tank is a little on the cumbersome side, so... <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see about that. Now let's see if we can find a way into this other grocery store. Ah, right, we're accessing it from this way. We do have a cart over there. What's the kind of carrying capacity of these carts, I wonder? 50 litres. Yes, yeah, so the shopping cart's not, you know, it's not great. I, I think ours is better. We do have a tough zombie coming for us, though, so we let go of the cart and we start to approach as the other two start to attack it themselves. Candy doing some pretty damn decent damage. Pay as well. We managed to finish the thing off, sending it reeling back up against the glass door. Let's go ahead and cut it into pieces and take the stuff. But you know what? Let's put a hacksaw in here just in case I want to take anything off any vehicles we see. Uh, so I'm just going to drop these things off now. Uh, let's see what else we've got. I guess the, uh, the tainted stuff. Bosite and just all the other little food bits. We do want to keep some things though, I imagine. Um, so what would we want to keep in this? Probably the jerky maybe and the pork sticks. Yeah. Okay. It's really raining outside now. Let's go ahead and get in. Um, I, I do... I did forget, I forgot to check the um, vending machines in the last store, so I'll check them in this one here, see what we can buy. That pickle is still good, it's surprising. Okay, oh god damn it. Yes, I know. I'm surprised we're not straining yet. Okay, I, I, yeah, I doubt there's going to be anything good in the uh, in the freezers. We'll take all these that we can because uh, they can be good for mood boosts. Neko wafers, chocolate covered coffee, something? It's food, we'll take it. Wheat cereals. From the northwest we hear, would it react differently with a child? Ah, oh, shit, there's Amigo or something like that here. Okay. More fun from Dusk's path. Past, past, past. <laughs> okay. Uh, back room. Uh, yeah, I guess this is a good place for us to- oh, what? Heat dependent. Shit. That's not good. We've got a mutation called heat dependent. We're cold blooded now. Your muscle response is dependent on ambient temperatures. You lose 1% of your speed for every 5 degrees below 65 Fahrenheit. So two, for every 2.8 degrees below 18 degrees C. I don't know. Oh, because we're cold. We're cold right now. Okay, crap. Ah. Uh, not a good mutation. Not a good one at all. Um, so we're going to be quite slow now. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's just keep on trying to get into here. Okay, we do hear the click. It opens up. Um, let's see. What do we got? Oh, this is an ATM. Well, I guess that... W Are they both ATMs? They're both ATMs. Okay, right. They weren't vending machines. Right, so this is, um, I guess, a good way for us to actually put our money into account. Um, because instead of just holding on to all these cash cards, I don't know if we can. Uh, let's go transfer all money to just that card. So that means that we should just have the one card, yeah. So that just, that's a way to, to very easily get rid of, you know, just consolidate your, your money onto one thing. Um, I wonder if we can just deposit it, actually. Yeah, let's deposit it. Deposit the maximum amount. Yeah. $997. From the west we hear help. Don't freaking trust it. Don't trust it at all. Um, let's go ahead and move past them. I think that's us done in the grocery store now. Um, yeah, heat dependent is not good for us. Uh, we're not that slow. Well, we are a little slow right now, but uh, I just need to be wary of it because obviously we're, we're cold right now, so it's yeah, it's not good. Um, I'm not going to worry about the bank just yet. I think what we're going to do is come over here, grocery store, gun store, hardware store. The gun store we're probably not going to be able to get into. Um, I, Yeah, I doubt we're going to be able to get through the door. Um, we do have the tank. We could use the tank to try and do that. Um, okay, let's let go of that. 
and allow the uh, hazmat zombie to come closer. Bring him back towards the others so that they can help out as well. Oh, we send him reeling. Knocking him back in the rain. And finally killing him. Knocking him actually just into the cart. So we go ahead and uh, pull the cart out of the way there. And let's see, what do we got? We'll take the potassium iodide. And that's about it. But we will go ahead, cut him up, and uh, take all of that. Just drop the tainted bits and pieces into here. Okay, and you know what, while we're here, let's go ahead and just drop off the food. There we go. Flint and steel as well, we'll drop off. Matchbook and lighter. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and grab that again. And we're a little bit hungry. Eat some pie, keep on moving. Okay, so we're going to start moving up towards that other grocery store and the sporting goods store. I think, sorry, hardware store. I think we'll try and go to the hardware store first. So we'll see if we can find our way around there. This heat dependent shtick is not so good. Not ideal. We are actually a cold blooded creature right now. Okay, looks like we can get inside easily enough. The name is gone, but a slogan remains. We'll repair you all the way. Good to know. Purple paint. Do we do we want paint? White paint. Uh, I don't know if we want paint. I guess some paint could be useful. Nail guns. Let's just take one nail gun. Circular saw. Yes. Foot crank. Yeah, why not? We're pretty much going to take everything in here. Uh, plastic bag of peanut butter candies. Okay, let's let them kind of get off that for now. Okay. Uh, and what I probably should be doing, I should be getting in the habit of doing this because what I'm doing right now is not <laughs> not the best. Uh, so the circular saw we want to put into there. And the foot crank as well. What I'm going to start doing is just going, yeah, to what we're actually carrying. We'll put the purple paint in there. And uh, we'll put the white paint as well. Because why not? We might be able to use it for something. Uh, take the purple paint. Looks like it's just a dust mask. So there doesn't actually seem to be too much of the hardware store, unfortunately. A uh, basic repair kit we'll take as well. Why not? Transfer that across, put it in the cart. And it looks like that is just the duct tape. What was that? Oh, right, just the extra bits and pieces. That's all that's in this hardware store. Unfortunately, there isn't uh, too much here. Just a single 2x4. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay, so we're going to try for the gun store. See if we can get in. But uh, I, I doubt that we're going to be able to. Yeah. Oh, hey, zombie master. All right, we're going to take care of him as quick as we can. We approach the zombie master, slashing at him. But the zombie master continues to dodge. The others approach and attempt to attack him as well. As we slash, poisoning him, sending him reeling with our tail. We slash again, pay starting to strike. Not bad. And finally, the zombie master dies. Stop butchering. Yeah, sure. We'll let the tough zombie approach. Let's back up, get the others to help a little bit. But we can see that with each attack, we're doing a lot of things. We're biting, we're slashing, and we're whipping our tail, and uh, you know, and we're poisoning at the same time as well. So we're doing we're doing a, a fair bit with each attack. Okay, so that's going to have us feeling pretty tired after doing all of that. We're going to go ahead and put those straight on into there. Catch our breath back. Okay. And get moving. Now you you didn't have anything amazing on. No. Uh, if only we had a cr crowbar. What? You can use a crowbar to open the door. Really? Oh, we can try and lockpick this. Well, how? Okay. Uh, this is going to be quite hard for us to do. We're probably going to wreck a few um, in the process by doing this, but that's okay. And just like that, we managed to pick the door to uh, the gun store. All right, submachine gun enthusiast we will take. Um, I might see if we can quickly read it. Uh, no, we're probably not gonna be able to do that. So um, 
What I should do is just go all, because then I can just go next. Yeah, we'll just go along like that. Guns and ammo. No, we've got that already. Um, okay, let's see. What guns do we have here? We'll take them. We'll just, you know, they're guns. Might as well take them, right? Smith and Western. What do we got over here? Glock. Thank you. Let's see what we got going on over here. American 1080 and a M1014 shotgun. Thank you. Remington. And it looks like we've got some things that are a little heavier here. G36, A22, and a Mini 14. Right. We'll take them all. Put them into the car. Okay, and it looks like we've got magazines and ammunition on the other side, so let's see how much we have of each. Not bad. Uh, where is our amount? Oh, the amount's next to them. Okay. Nice. Pretty damn decent. We'll take it. Take it all. Glock extended magazine. Perfect. Um, so this might be a little harder for us to get into. I don't think we need to, because that's just the shooting range out the back. So, hell, I'm I'm happy with that. That was uh, that was pretty damn decent. Let's go ahead and get back outside and move across to the final grocery store, which I don't even think we need, if I'm being honest. Um, so let's see, what do we have over there? The tank. The tank we are going to go for, I think, which means... Oh, hey, shady zombie. It's been a while since we've seen one of them. We allow it to approach, we strike at it, sending it reeling in the rain, and kill it with ease. There's a hazmat zombie appearing out of the store, there's also a Rottweiler. Let's go ahead and back up towards the others, just so we have a little bit more support here. Alright, the hazmat zombie attempts to grab at us, but we continue to slash until the thing dies. Uh, there is a Rottweiler in there, but okay, here he comes. Stop butchering. Uh, yes, I meant to say yes, but I forgot. <laughs> And wow, it didn't take much to kill him, but uh, we did. So let's go ahead and just butcher everything. And we'll butcher him as well. Okay, and we'll take all the chunks of tainted meat and the tainted bones. Thank you very much. And there's our Cartman. Just drop everything into there. Nice and easy. Um, and I've realized we have actually reached the halfway point, but uh, I'm going to see if we can just make it back to the tank before... I do call it there, and it looks like they kind of smashed their way into here. I wonder if we can pull back out of here. We strain to move the cart, and that's because of Candy being in the back. We lash out at the tough zombie, again and again, until he falls. What does this say? Danger minefield! Holy shit! Okay, well that's that's kind of why. This is, what's, this, this is what all the noise is. And that's why we're not finding anything on them. Because they have died to the mines, and they're reviving. And when, when they revive, they leave everything behind. So, we do know there is a minefield here, so let's be really friggin' careful. And I would very much like it if Candy got out of the cart right now. There is a mine right there. Okay, very carefully make our way through here. And what the hell are you? What is that? What is that? A bandit bulldozer. Manual flamethrower. What? Spiked rams? The engine's gone. The engine's bust. But there's a freaking flamethrower on it. I think we might be able to take that off. Metal soaring. Wow, we, we, we have metal soaring. It's in our cart. Let's go ahead and grab it. This means that there could be someone nearby. Okay, we've got to swim a zombie to deal with first, so we release the cart. As the swimmer zombie approaches, clambering over the bulldozer, we strike, knocking it to the ground. Striking again, it falls. There's a lot of gasoline that's leaked all over the ground. It looks like they um, got stopped here and probably didn't have a chance to get out. It's right on the edge of town as well, so it's pretty freaking cool. It's, it's, it's pretty reinforced, rebar reinforcement all the way through it. They've got a big trunk at the back. Just seeing what else they have uh, on it. Truck horn. That's control. So it's right in the center there. Yeah. That's uh, it's pretty epic. We'll go ahead and take the flamethrower if we can. It's going to take 30 minutes. We're going to get a little bit cold and wet by doing that. But uh, hell, it's a freaking flamethrower. So we'll take it. The flamethrower is a very, very useful weapon in Cataclysm. Um, very good to have. 
just all around a good weapon. And I think this is where we're going to put a cut in. I'm going to be back in just a moment. Alrighty, and I have returned and uh, actually remembered something uh, in that little break. I was wanting to go to the dojo. Now, where was the dojo? It was up here, right? Yeah, okay. So we are going to have to make our way kind of around the minefield again. Um, I do want to go down and get the tank. I definitely do. But I think at the same time, I want to try and make my way up there. That's our little uh, fire truck that I remember seeing. And god damn it. <laughs> The cart again. Yeah, so we're going to be getting a lot colder now. Our, mo our mouth and hands. So this is the problem, is that we we can't wear anything over our mouth. So I feel like I'm going to have to try and go down the route of uh, CBMs, if we had this long time, to try and uh, regulate our temperature. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Okay, so we are hungry. That's going to make us uh, thirsty as well, unfortunately. We're going to have both of those, and then we're going to have some of that water. Get ourselves nice and slaked. And we're going to see if we can just go between these two buildings here. And the thunderstorm is still raging at the moment. It's really going. So we want to make our way across the road. And hello, zombie soldier. We can we can take care of him. So what we're going to do is try and just lure him over. Looks like we've got his attention now. Okay, so as he approaches, we're going to stand back. It's going to get the others a chance to uh, strike at him. And just like that, Candy starts doing some pretty damn decent damage. Pay attention to swing and strike him. Candy impaling the zombie soldier, we finally strike it down. Let's see. Ah, C4 explosive. I'm really glad that it doesn't explode when you uh, smack them around with it. But we will definitely take the C4. The C4 we can use to actually blow things open. Uh, I mean, obviously, but uh, I will definitely take it. And we're going to go ahead and butcher them as well because we want their stuff. We want them. Okay, so let's see. We want to go that. Oh, we're not grabbed onto anything right now. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. Okay, and let's see, that's what we want. Just those, thank you very much. Let's get a move on. Okay, so I'm assuming that the dojo entrance is going to be on the other side. Controls are the most damaged. Yeah, so actually it looks like there's a little bit of a car park for it. And hey, there's a smoker zombie inside. Perfect. Right, okay, well we're going to hang outside here for the time being. We're going to take care of this fat zombie first of all. Just bring him back towards the others. Okay, all right, Pay starts smashing at it. And the thing is, from where Candy is as well, I'm pretty sure she can attack from there. So, pretty damn decent uh, little team fight there. Let's go ahead and grab that, and go ahead and move these into there. Tainted fat, okay, right, so now it looks like we're gonna have to start shifting things into the back of the vehicle. Uh, that's not a problem, we're just gonna have to move it along. Okay, I can't see the smoker zombie anymore, so, kinda has me hopeful. Ah, uh, okay. I guess we can't select the back of it from here. So, let's just go ahead and grab the tainted fat. Can move it in there later if I need to. Okay, alright, so there definitely is a smoker zombie in there. Um, let's see if we can kind of convince him to come outside. Okay, there he is. So now we're going to have to step into the smoke for a moment. And see if we can get him. Okay, so our skill in unarmed combat has increased to 5, which is great. And we managed to kill him. But we need to just keep on moving outside. Um, we are going to be suffering from smoke for a little bit. And we have a tough zombie approaching. There's going to be nothing left of the smoker zombie, so we can't get any meat from that one. We can go ahead and strike down that tough zombie. And take everything we need from him. Thank you. And let's go ahead and get inside this dojo. Just kind of get our breath back and... Oh, Sweet relief when we get back inside. With a thunderstorm going on outside, it's uh, quite relaxing. Okay, so there aren't any books in here. I'm hoping that there's going to be a book in one of the back rooms here. There's going to be a few bees and stuff like that that we'll be able to have a look at, but uh, I don't think we're going to need any of them. Uh, so let's just put Cartman here for now, and we're just going to move across and just see what we have in each of these uh, lockers. Zubon. Yeah, so there's going to be quite a few different little martial arts kits here. But uh, we are looking for... Hey, if I can find a black belt, I'll wear it. But uh, we are currently looking for a book. God damn it. You had to get into it, didn't you? Okay, we've got Boxing Monthly, so we can learn about boxing. So that's something. And CBQ. Close Quarter Fighting. Okay, is that like... Um, Oh, it's got it out of my head now. Krav Maga. Right. Maybe it's Krav Maga. Maybe not. 
We'll find out. And there's a black belt. Yes. We're going to take it because we might wear that ourselves. Because, you know, why not? I mean, like, like, Dusk's seen her martial arts movies, I think, you know, in the lab as well. So I think she would be up for wearing that. Uh, let's go ahead and get them out of there because they're going to be right in the way. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> there we go. We got out of there. Okay, so not too bad. We did come away with some books. So I think what we're probably going to do now is just look at moving on back. There's an arcade. Another grocery store. Parking lot. Sporting goods store. Maybe we could check out that sporting goods store. Just see what's there. I'm not so concerned about the pharmacy. I don't think there's going to be you know, much good there. Clothing store. Jewelry store. Boxing gym. Okay. Now I think we're going to try for the sporting store just across the road because it's close and then I think we're going to start heading back because it is four, the sun is going to start rising soon and uh, I feel like we've spent enough time here and I almost went to save and quit there and I was just trying to get out of uh, our damn th situation. Okay, spitter zombie, okay that's not so nice but uh, I think the others, Candy, you are moving, okay good, okay wow nicely done, she very quickly took care of the acid, the acidic zombie. And the fat zombie didn't stand much of a chance either. Um, I'm just going to move away from them really quick. Just so they can kind of move away from the acid. We're going to take the Ambien. Let's go ahead and cut that up. Feral Hunter approaching. Stop butchering. Yes. Hey, Feral Hunter. Okay, let's go ahead. Stand our ground. And cut him into pieces. And we're going to do the same to both of them. And we're going to be very, very tired by the time that we do that. Uh, so that looks like we're at capacity, so we're gonna have to go to the back one. I'm pretty sure this is the back one So let's look at dropping some of these things off just the tainted meat for now And the tainted fat perfect. Okay, so that's the one that we're after uh, Nothing on there go ahead and take that take the cash card as well. Why not? Okay, hacksaw All right, what do you got? We've got a decent amount of, of tainted flesh out of this so I'm pretty happy we're gonna be able to make a decent amount of mutagen uh, which we're going to need to because of how we are mutating. Okay, tainted bone. Tainted fat. Yeah. Take it all. Okay, it looks like this vehicle has been kind of smashed to pieces. And hey, a zombie cop, which means it's probably a, a SWAT vehicle of some kind. Let's have a look. A luxury RV. So they're smashed to pieces, unfortunately. But there could be some things that we really need in here. So I'd very much appreciate it if he doesn't smash it up any more than he already has. Come on, find your way outside. There we go. The zombie cop approaches from the RV as we start to just wreck him. <laughs> just absolutely wreck him. Okay, uh, he is underneath the vehicle right now. We want to move him out because we don't want him coming back. Um, he's got a Glock on him. So let's just shift everything onto the square that we're on. Um, south. Sure. Why not? Uh, Two-way radio. Do we want the radio? We'll take the radio and the Glock and we'll go ahead and cut up the Zombie cop. No, not what we wanted to do. There we go. Okay. And we'll take the ca the cash card as well. I wasn't anticipating there being a luxury RV here, so that's uh, that's something for us to uh, have a look into. Um, if we do end up taking the tank, what we'll have to do is just uh, come back for Cartman, because uh, I don't think we want to lose Cartman. And hey there, pair of binoculars. We're going to take them. Um, they shouldn't encumber us too much. It says it does a little bit to encumbrance. Is that going to be on our torso? Kind of sucks. So the the binoculars essentially they just kind of increase your map discovery. Uh, so can be useful. Looks like there's been a little bit of destruction back here, which leads me to believe that someone was in here. And hey, look at that! Someone's in the back. Or at least it seems that way. Let's see what we got? A pair of hiking boots, flashlight. Yeah, we'll 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 take it for our, our lights. And we've got a smoker zombie outside, which I'm not a fan of. Baseball helmet, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's check the back. And someone is making some noise out the back there. And we've got a smoker zombie in here. And I doubt there is actually anything in the back there. So we're just going to try and find our way back around. Where we don't have to deal with the smoker zombies because uh, I don't like them. Let's let go of that. Allow the uh, zombie dog to come up. And bam! We tripped the zombie dog for 28 damage. So I think the reason we tripped it there was is because of our brawling. We've actually learned to do trips and things like that now. So that's kind of cool. Okay, butcher that sucker. 
and take everything we can from it. Okay. Let's see, little beetle. Uh, vehicle tank is damaged. Okay, let's get moving. And we're going to investigate the luxury RV. Okay, so <laughs> it's pretty beaten up. I don't think there's going to be much left alive in here. So we're just going to work through just bit by bit. Just to see what we can kind of get from it. Uh, I'm going to work down the left hand side first. So the kitchen unit is completely destroyed. The mini fridge is completely destroyed. Which sucks. They're, they're the things that I was wanting to get. Uh, and unfortunately they're completely destroyed. So that's actually just useless shit. Oh well. It is what it is. Um, and we do have a tough zombie which appears to be coming for us. He is actually coming for us. Okay. Alright. We slash out, cutting him to pieces. Um, these ones really doesn't take too much for us to bring it down now because we are doing so much different types of damage to them now. Uh, okay, that smoker zombie is coming. It did hear those bashes, so we should start moving. And god damn it, pay. Ah, uh, bloated zombie. Okay, we wanted. We don't want to get hit by that kind of toxicity. And a zombie brute. We uh, would rather not deal with you if we could. So we're just going to keep on moving on. This is a good thing about us doing night raids is that we have the ability to to kind of choose our battles. Okay, so if we're wanting to make it to the tank, we need to make it back down there. So we need to start just traveling south along the road here. We've got a little bike, and hey, we might be able to take some solar panels here. At the very least, we'll be able to. Uh, Unfortunately, those goddamn batteries, the swappable batteries, are, are really quite heavy. But if we bring the tank over here, we'll be able to uh, take them. Uh, it does take a little while for us to take them apart, though, which means it's probably going to be daytime by the time that we do that. So maybe we do want to have the tank here, if that's the case. How far is the tank from here? It's just down a little bit. Okay, so we want to come back to that um, intersection, or at least try to, where there is a whole heap of crap. Whole heap of crap. Oh, it's the freaking minefield. Oh, oh, okay. Just getting shivers. Just going right near that minefield. Okay, so we're gonna, we're just gonna have to find our way through this little grocery. Oh, it's a coffee shop. Nice. Go ahead and kill that sucker. Poison him. Make him bounce around. You're gonna rot in hell, you pieces of shit. What the hell? Uh, ignore. Okay. From the southwest, you hear run. Okay, don't, please don't go near the minefield, people. Let's just go through here. And I don't know who that was shouting out. I don't know if it was one of them or not. Yeah, it's not one of us because, well, it, it could have been because we didn't see them. So we don't know for certain. Okay, let's, uh, oh God, it's a freaking Amigo. Can we hand to hand Amigo, amigo now? <laughs> uh, can we? Um... That's a good question. We have our Brivtech submachine gun, if things get really bad. We're going to take a step back, because I think the Migo is going to come for us. Let's have some more pork sticks. The Migo doesn't seem to be coming for us just yet, but I think it will. Oh my god! See, this is why towns are dangerous. Look at all those hordes. Jesus. Okay, so the tank is south of us right now. If we want to try and get to the tank, we're going to need to go through some trouble times. There's also an antique store as well, which would be really nice to go to. Let's grab our cart and see if we can start making our way across here. We might actually be able to avoid the Migo, and it looks like we just were able to, but the Migo is actually right by the tank now. So, that's not going to work out for us. We are going to run into a tough zombie, that's okay. And the Migo is here because these are all lab corpses. So, my next question is, what items are here? Uh, we had a filter on, that's why we couldn't see anything. Okay, where the reader CBM? Great, we'll grab that. Science ID will also grab. There's a there's a teleporter. There's a teleporter. There's a goddamn teleporter. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. You know what? We're just gonna have to check out each of these bodies because uh, there is some good shit here. Okay, we're the ready CBM. We'll take it. Uh, let's read what it does. A multitude of scientific instruments and sensors collect environmental data. The data is compiled and presented as a simple reader of the current weather. It also passively tells you your external temperature. Nice. Okay. That's good. We'll, we'll know uh, what temperature we're kind of at if, uh, you know, if our um, heat dependent kind of stays around. Because we're so slow right now, unfortunately. We're definitely going to take the, the teleporter. This experimental device that will teleport you a short distance when activated. That can get us through walls. Thank you very much. We'll take the science ID card as well. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, clean water, do we want to take the clean water? We're just gonna actually drink it off the ground. Yeah, do it. Okay. Extra battery mod, we'll take it. Water purification tablets, we're not gonna worry about that. Um, okay, no, nothing on that body. From the east you hear emergency, emergency. Okay, so, I think that's the Migo that's still doing that. I think it's, you know, replicating. Uh, robots. The sound of robots. The hills are alive, the sound of robots. Uh, what are we wanting to unload? We're wanting to unload the soldering iron that's on the ground, but I can't see it for some reason. Yeah, why can't I see that and why can't I unload it? Um, let's see, drugs, box, items worn. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll just leave it then. I, I don't care so much for that. Okay, so the tough zombie we're going to have to deal with, that's going to come for us. Um, here he comes, okay. Alright, so we're going to stop. And the others are just going to go and start doing some decent work. God damn, Candy's doing some sick damage with that, um, all pike. Let's go ahead and butcher that one. And we'll go ahead, uh, no we won't take everything. Uh, so now I just need to see, okay, so that's the, yeah. That one we should still be able to store things in. So let's go ahead and just put, uh, essentially everything that we just picked up in there. Or at least try to. Okay, good. We still have some space. And we can see a Z9 as well. We'll take the shot and the other bits and pieces. The Z9 is more than likely going to come for us. The antique store can hold some really, really nice things for us. Um, so, fingers crossed, we're going to go in and see what we can get. Okay, so first of all there's a brazier. We're going to take that because we can, you know, just have fire in there. That's pretty good. Uh, walking cane, not so good. Pair of boxing gloves, yeah, not going to worry about that. And acetylene lamp. Okay. Right. Uh, cool. It's an efficient, if what, sa if what somewhat dangerous light source. We'll take it, just for the lols. You know, we'll see what we got. There's a glass plate. Okay, so this is not so good. There is a weapon back there, but we do have to smash the glass to be able to get it, I believe. It's firmly sealed. Uh, let's see what we can actually... So there's, there's a rapier in there. Uh, but the question is, is it a real one? No, it's not a real one. Okay. So it's a fake one. Yeah, this is a blunted, cheap replica of... Yeah. So it's no good to us. Uh, so this is that. Uh, that's all that we wanted to check out over here. Let's see if we can quickly have a little bit more to eat. Just those pork sticks, and we're going to be heading outside. What is that that we can see just to the south of us? It looks like there's a whole heap of stuff actually. Is that another coffee house? I think it is. Yeah, no tea shop. Okay. So there's there's a lot of dead here. We've got another church. Um, what we're going to try and do now is make our way back up towards that tank. Um, and then we really need to just get the hell out of town. Um, the Migo is going to be an issue though, and now it is actually coming for us. So, this is it. This is... We just need to stand our ground. Hopefully, we can get it to come onto the cart here. From the northeast, you hear destroy specimen if it begins to interact with the lock. Pay? Pay runs ahead, full long. Slamming into the Migo, smashing it with her morning star. The Migo claws at her, screaming out, happy birthday. What the fuck? We start to slash at the Migo. We trip it over. It climbs back to its feet, but we continue. Pay swings and misses. We trip the Migo yet again. On the floor, it can't do much to hurt us. We send it reeling against the wall, it falling off, Candy impaling it for 51 damage. We approach the creature as it attempts to run. We try and run it down. And we're faster. With, yeah, so we're, we're, we're faster, even though we're slowed down because of our body temperature, we're still fast enough to chase it. And with one final trip, we crush in the thing's awful head, and the Migo dies. Hell yeah! Well, we can use a Migo corpse to craft blob feed. We're just going to go ahead and cut it up, and we're going to take all that tainted meat and tainted fat. So thank you very much, Migo. We don't need to use guns on the Migo anymore, people. We can just straight up kill that sucker. Alright, let's go ahead and drop all these things in here. 
tainted fat, tainted bone, and the tainted meat. Perfect. Okay, and now we should be free to go investigate the tank. We can see the minefield now on the mini-map here. We can see the kind of full extent of it, so... Yeah. Alright, we can see a zombie soldier to the east. I don't think he's going to be a problem right now. Um, I very quickly want to go and investigate Pei and Candy, just see how they're doing. Okay, they're, they're doing alright overall. I still don't know why we can just see the, the numbers. Let's go ahead and examine wounds. Okay, so Candy's a little bit more messed up. I think the acid did get to her legs. We were dealing with that spitter zombie a while back. Okay, so everything does seem to be working here fine. Now, what I didn't check before was to see if the controls were actually working alright as well. The vehicle tank is a little damaged. Okay, so one of them is. So it is going to be leaking diesel, unfortunately. Um, Five-point harness is damaged also, and the controls are there. So unfortunately, we aren't locked into our seat, which is a little unfortunate. God damn. Okay, this is this this is quite the vehicle. Okay, so where are our storage? Okay, so there's, there's a floor trunk over there, and there's a, okay, there's another one over there, okay. So what we need to try and do is get this as close as we can to the door. Okay, oh, we're still running. Okay, alright. Um, okay, let's go like that. That works. Okay, there is actually, there is a little hole that they can kind of just climb through. Okay, so let's see, that is a floor trunk there. Yes, I believe so. So hopefully, we're going to be able to transfer things across to that. Yeah, there's quite a bit of space. We should be able to transfer pretty much all of this. Let's get transferring. I think this is actually a little bit more than this can carry. Okay, that's me transferring everything to there. Okay, no, that that's uh, that's that's all that that can carry. So now let's go up to this one over here. Uh, that's okay. That's on the pavement. Uh, so what about? Yeah, I don't want to look at the pavement. I want to look at the the vehicle. Sometimes it can be quite picky in, term, in terms of like what you are looking at. So I feel like maybe if I examine the yeah, is that is that still a trunk? Right? Yeah, that's a that's a floor trunk that works perfectly fine. So what if, what if I go ahead and just drop something onto it? Is that going to drop it onto the ground? Oh no, we put it into the floor trunk. So maybe now yeah, there we go. It, then we can start moving things across. So what I want to do is have a look and see what's just south of us, and start moving those into there. Okay, nice. And we'll just move those across as well. And now that's everything that was in Cartman. We're now inside the tank. Okay. We, we we can't see too much. Now, is this where we control the tank from? Okay. So, no. It's the other seat, I think. It's actually this one here, by the looks of things. It fails to start. Okay, alright. Let's... Alright. Oh, the engine is actually faulty. Let's see if we can get it to start again. Alright, it fails. We might not be able to get this to start. It is probably actually damaging the engine, us trying to do that. We might be able to try... No, that... Alright, oh, there's more than one engine. That one's faulty. Can we repair that? No, we'd need to have our welder here with us. And we need to have a decent kind of mechanic skill, unfortunately. We don't have that. Um, let's try again. I guess there's only so many times that we can really try to do this. It's not taking too long each time to try though. Yeah, a long beeping sound. I think we might need to have both of them working before we can uh, kind of get this to go, unfortunately. Try again. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, oh, the battery's completely gone now. Shoot. Damn, well there is a working tank here at the very least. We might be able to take some of these bits and pieces off. Uh, but I feel like that's a pretty big job. That's something that we won't be able to do just yet. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to try and transfer everything back into our cart. So, let's start transferring everything over here. Okay, no, that's fine. Let's go down to there. The next bit of Cartman. And all of that there. Perfect. Okay, now everything is transferred out of there. Uh, there is a lot of ammunition in here still as well, though, that we might be able to take. And I think we actually did take some of that. Um... No, we haven't taken the Winchester rounds, the 308 rounds. Which, uh, I feel like might be good for us to take. There's also 50 cal rounds as well. Uh, also would be good for us to take. But I think, I think we're going to leave them in the tank for now. Because we can always come back to the tank. The tank's not going to be going anywhere. We're seeing a fat zombie to the east. Let's just see if we can quickly 
No, we're not going to be able to do that. And we're going to end up pulling. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I wanted to try and avoid uh, us getting into more combat right now, but uh, I don't think that was going to happen. Okay, no, we're okay actually. We should be able to get back. Okay, so we're going to get a bit of a move on now. Um, it looks like there is something of a horde out there in the field. We've got a zombie soldier to the northeast. We don't actually have anyone too close to us right now, which is good. Um, there are so many like little cargo spaces and things that I'd want to take from this wreckage. So it's a it's like a big 18 wheeler that's kind of just toppled over. Okay, apparently we're seeing a zombie soldier. That's okay. And to the south we're seeing a creek. Which means that there are more scientist bodies down there, so I'm actually intrigued to go and see. Um, so the Crick is going to run for us. The Crick can't do too much against us, and I think the girls are probably going to be able to do some decent damage. The problem with the Crick is that it's really quite hard to hit. However, it's not very strong. And we slash at it with our tail and our claws, and it melts away into nothing. Not long for our dimension. Okay, alright, so let's see what we have over here. We've got a folded emergency blanket probably don't need any of that there isn't a gasoline lantern we'll take it um, nothing else that we really want actually you know what this looks like campers not scientists let's take the mess kit um, plastic canteen no I actually don't think we're gonna worry about that but yeah this looks like it's campers that were here oh the campers that were taken out by this creek um, bottle of vodka why not and we'll take the flashlight as well uh, the flashlight doesn't need to have its batteries for us to do what we kind of want to do with it. Um, you are dandelion, so we will take you. Okay, it looks like we've got some cigarettes over there. We'll take those for intelligence sake. Uh, because that's just how it works in the game. We'll take the meat jerky, take the heat pack, and I think we'll just take this other heat pack, and that's all that we want from them. Okay, so we're going to continue on through the field here. We can see that there's a lot more activity here than before. Um, so we need to be very careful coming back to home. Uh, and what we might actually bring home with us. So we're going to try not to make a lot of noise and we're also going to try and keep our eyes open as we're going through the field. Uh, just for potential hordes that we might run into. So we can see a zombie grappler to the northeast so we're just going to come down a little bit more to the south. It might be a lone grappler though so I think we're okay. Okay let's keep moving. The, the grappler is now to the southeast. We can actually see it on the, on the little mini map. He's running towards a bloody house that son of a bitch. He's, he's smashing at the windows. He's trying to get at um, something down the bottom there. Let's get his attention. Okay. Let's not read the book. Just going to wait for him to come closer. Oh, and he's pulled us in. But we managed to send him reeling. We bite into him, slash at him with our tail, and then finally send him flying with our claws. It didn't last long at all. Let's go ahead and butcher him. No, don't stop butchering. We are dead tired now though, so we are going to need to go to sleep once we get back inside. Let's see how our little fields are doing. Nice! Okay. Now, I don't know if there is any way for us to kind of like settle the earth down. I think there is. It's like pat down the earth or something like that. Ah, oh, yeah. Alright. Tamp ground. Yeah. Two minutes so we will be able to put that back down we just need to grab our uh, our little shovel to do that and then we'll be able to settle the ground back down good to know but we're going to come back inside for now we are just going to sleep but i think once we wake up we want to try and look at just making more mutagens the next thing that i probably want to do is look at making um a lot more uh hang on wait no researching mechanics because we need to get our mechanics up so that we can actually get solar panels working uh, so that we can have a proper solar rig that's my next kind of goal okay so we want to be shifting everything across to here making sure that we're not using a filter um, unfortunately it's looking on the floor and I don't know why so we'll just go like that okay and we're going to transfer not everything but uh, mostly everything tainted fat Okay, uh, and the ethanol will take across to there as well. Uh, the white paint and everything else, uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing I'll just put with our, kind of a, into our everything pile. Unfortunately, we can't take it up there. This is the kind of only bad thing with the setup at the moment is that we can't shift uh, a lot of things along like that. I will just move everything across to there for now. Uh, and saying that, there was some ammunition, so I'm just going to go ahead and move that across. Uh, and we do have our guns in the back, so... Uh, I don't think I can kind of move it around in such a way that it will kind of work for us. 
Oh no, there we go. That works. Let's see. We've got all of our guns, and we want to go ahead and move them up to there. Flamethrower included. Magazines and the ammunition, and the C4 as well. Why not? Everything else. Let's see. Can, I can't really get to the CBMs, so what I'm going to do is just shift them up a square. Um, actually, you know what? We've got tainted meat, so let's go ahead and do that. Shift that into there. Um, we've got some regular meat as well. Okay. And some offal. That's still good. Not bad. A lot of meat that's kind of gone off, but that's all right. Okay, so we're wanting to just shift everything up to join the others. Okay. So they should all just be north of me here. So I should be able to go and move them out. Easy as. Yep, there we go. Okay, so first of all, going to get all that food just into there. We'll take those chunks of meat as well. We'll attempt to cook those up now if we can. Some machine gun enthusiasts we'll deal with in just a moment. Okay. Uh, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Sometimes it's quite easy for me to get lost at, at what I'm looking at at any one time. Uh, I should still be able to access it here. Yep, I can. Good. Okay, so we want to get all of these. They are our tools. So I'll go ahead and put them up there. Earplugs. I didn't actually realize that we grabbed them. But, uh, okay. It's alright. Um, the bow sight, I guess we should be putting down with the ranged weapons. So quickly just go and move that across to there and we need to shift our cbms as well so the weather reader cbm can put that up to there uh essentially those will just go into our everything pile and some machine gun enthusiasts will just bring into our inventory for the time being because we want to quickly just read through those uh, it's too dark to read so let's grab our atomic lamp which is just over here for now let's wield that sucker and go ahead and activate it okay all right, so we might have actually learned that then. We might have learned boxing. Uh, okay, CQB. Okay, that's red and submachine gun enthusiast. We can still learn some things from that. Well, we can make some recipes. So let's go ahead and just put that right there. Uh, we do have a few other things that I want to drop off. So let's go and drop off the chunk of meat. Um, drugs, ambium. Calcium tablets, cigarettes, and the potassium iodide. Cool. And food. Dropping off all of these. Um, I kind of feel like we want to keep the binoculars around. We will see about that. Um, okay, so now tools. We've still got a Glock as well, apparently. That, that. The brazier. We're, I'm going to place that down somewhere. Drop those flashlights. Um, because we've got a heavy duty one, right? Yeah. Drop that off. Mess kit and the teleporter. Okay. Great. And now just dropping off. Actually, you know what? We need to take the tainted bones. If we have any here. Let's just do a quick search. Hmm. Strange. Uh okay. Why why do we not have that's tainted meat? Okay, no tainted bones there. Hmm. All right. Okay. Drop that gun off before I forget about it. Okay. Got all of our tainted meat. Okay. Where I might just put the blur, the brazier somewhere just for now. Um. Let's see. Where do we want it to go? Just put it down over by the window. You can actually properly place them. Um. But I think even placing it like that should still work. Maybe. Don't quote me on it. It can be quite dangerous. Um, okay, let's see. We got some more charcoal. Nice. Go and drop our other tainted bones in there. I know that we have some other tainted bones somewhere. I just don't know where right now. They are hiding. I think it might be up here, actually. Let's just do a quick search. Yep. 63 tainted bones. Dispose of that and wield them. Okay. Go through here and drop them straight into that and let's just fire the kill get that going uh that charcoal there's a whole heap of charcoal there we're just gonna have to leave it there for the time being okay swap places back inside we did tired so we're gonna sleep first sleep first do other stuff second okay allow them to come back inside and let us try and sleep 
Okay, let's see if anything crazy happens to us during the night. We're probably gonna wake up pretty early because we've gone to sleep quite early. Yep, yeah, we've woken up at nine. Okay, yeah, we have a very strange sleeping schedule. All right, let's come up to here. Oh, the others are actually awake, so that's something. Okay, let's have a drink and just fill up our container. There we go. Uh, oh, we are still thirsty. All right, and we are hungry, so we should deal with that first of all. So let's go ahead, make ourselves some food. What do we want to make? Royal beef. Oh, that's using the royal jelly. Okay. I, uh, yeah. It's, it's really, really good for us, but uh, no, I don't, I don't think we're going to do that. Um, what else shall we make? Spitzy. Okay, it's a soda. Nice. Quite a few different uh, drink. Yeah, quite a few different drinks there. All right, that's using the canola seeds. So we actually we still have those canola seeds on us. I need to do something about that. And we can make cookies now, like cookies. And what I was thinking we were making before, but we were actually making biscuits. We were making scones before, but we can make cookies now. What am I, what's different? Flour, maple syrup. Uh, nothing's really different. You know what? We're going to make a whole heap. No, we're not. We're not going to make a whole heap. Uh, there are four, por four portions there, though. Let's go ahead and use the survivor biscuit. Craft a cookie. Great. Let us eat the cookies. Yum. I don't think this is going to uh, fill us, though. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's not the most filling meal ever. Um, I thought that we did still have some offal and other things on us. They might have gone off. Chunk of fat, chunk of meat. Know that we should still be able to make those. So let's jump into here really quick and just see what we can make. Even if we just make straight up cooked meat, then we know that we are, we are just using that meat. So let's go cooked meat and we're going to make the cooked offal as well. So go across the food and we'll go to our cooked offal. Wherever you're hiding, there you are. Let's make three. Okay, so that took a little bit to do, but um, we're gonna go ahead and eat those now. The offal is does actually have vitamin A in it, as well I've been told, so that's kind of good for us. Um, okay, all right. Now I'm probably gonna look at making some more mutagens. Let's jump in and see exactly what we need to get the job done. Okay, so it's Kim, and let's go across to mutagen. What do we need to make some more mutagen? Probably just, oh, some more bleach. Okay, all right, so bleach is still a thing. Bleach, how much bleach can we make? And that's probably, again, because of the chemistry, chemistry set just not having a lot of charges. So you actually do need the chemistry set to be able to do this. So let's make two things of bleach. We're gonna use the salt water. And let's go ahead and just pour it into that gallon jug there. We memorized the recipe for bleach. Nice, cool, okay. Um, where is our chemistry set? Should be over here, right? We need to make sure that we charge that up. Where are you gonna be chemistry set? Chem. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab it just so that we can uh, keep it charged for now because it's gonna keep on running out. We're using a lot of batteries, unfortunately, but uh, it's the way it is right now. Okay, mutagen. Let's go ahead, we're going to be making two. Um, it's going to use a decent amount of bleach. That's okay though. Survivor misket. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's actually use the survivor misket to do this, I think. And we're going to pour the mutagens into the plastic bottles. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that we are going to need some more bleach. So let's just go ahead and just make as much bleach as we can. Four, great. Takes us a little while to do. We'll go ahead and pour it into a container. Straight into that one there. A little thirsty, come over, get some water. We probably don't have a huge amount left. Let's see, 4%. No, we actually still have some in there. That's okay. Okay, mutagen, four, again. All right. Chunk of meat, lye powder, bleach. Okay, let's use, ah, right, so we we have actually used the Survive Mess Kit now. Um, I'm fine with us just using up what's left in that other one. So we go ahead, pour that into a container. And let's just go these bottles here. Okay, great. So we actually should have a decent amount of, uh, of mutagen kicking about now. Now, I guess what's the next step for us then? Let's, um, let's look at alpha for a second. So we're wanting to make the alpha... Mutagen. So we've got a slime serum at the moment. 
which is good. That's like one thing ticked off. We want to be able to make bird and plant. And I don't think we can make either right now. Uh, we also need four purifiers. We've got two at the moment, so we should look at making some more purifiers. Um, I don't know why they're not showing up at the moment. So I'll have a look into that. Let's just quickly search for bird. Okay, so we can actually make bird, bird mutagen. We just need to find some bird eggs, which are going to be a little harder for us to find right now. And the other one was the plant, which I don't think we can make either. No, we can't. Okay. All right, so purifiers, we're going to try and make as much as we can. Okay. Not what I was searching for, apparently. Okay, so purifier, we need more bleach again. So bleach, we just need a lot of bleach. And that probably means that uh, we just need to recharge our chemistry set yet again. It is completely out of charge. Okay, oh no, we don't want to compare. We just want to, ah, oh, because I've got cap locks turned on. That's why. Okay, chemistry set, reload that sucker. Use up all of our batteries because that's what you do. And let's search for bleach. Okay. Oh, we're out of salt water. Are we out of salt water? No, we've got 100% salt water. So that means that we weren't actually accessing it. Shit. Okay, well, how do we access it then? I guess we can just siphon the salt water, right? And then we'd say, what do we want to siphon it into? And we can siphon it into a gallon jug. Then that's going to be a decent amount of salt water into there so that's something so it's like we're just pouring into the gallon jug that doesn't take too long to do so that's okay okay right bleach we can make four again it's gonna take a while pour it into a container into there if we're hungry let's eat some of that cooked meat and let's go ahead and make some purifier how much can we make we can make three my question is how many do we have at the moment? Well, I guess we need to make a decent amount, don't we, really? Just gonna use all of our mutagens that we've made right now. We can use royal jelly instead, but um, yeah, royal jelly is a little bit harder to come up, come by. Unless there's a beehive nearby, then we'd be able to get a decent amount, but um, we're just gonna have to go with that for now. We, we It looks like we are gonna need a decent amount of bleach at uh, any one time as well. We'll go ahead, pour that into a container, pour it into just some more bottles. Okay, so if I do a search all around myself now and we do a look for purifier. Okay, so there is a decent amount, right? Yeah, so we've got four. So we've got two of these flasks and we have a plastic bottle, one with two, one with one. I feel like we should have a little bit more than that, but uh, maybe that's incorrect. So if I jump and have a look at the alpha now, we do have enough purifier. Okay, right. So it's the others that we need to focus on making that. And even just making the alpha mutagen is quite difficult. Quite, quite difficult. Um, just in terms of the actual difficulty, we can see it's 10. So there's a chance that we could just straight up fail and lose everything that we'd been kind of working towards getting. The plant serum is going to be... Yeah, I, I guess we're not going to be able to make it yet until we learn how to make the, the, the plant serum. Um, and actually the slime serum because we will need to make that eventually and we can't make that right now Which means that we'll have to try and seek out some other labs And uh, we don't have any other labs on here There are none. What is that? What is R? Riverbank swamp, okay. I Don't know if I've seen riverbank before I've seen rivers lots of rivers, but I don't think I've seen the R of the riverbank. It's interesting and different. And you see that's the main road that kind of leads out of town that way. We have no idea what's to the east. But uh, the, the town is big. Like I made them I made them really, really quite large, but I also made them very, very separate from each other so that they will feel like very separate spaces when we're in them. Okay, so what else can we do while we're here then? What else can we start to work towards? I was saying that we wanted to try and work towards uh, getting our mechanical skill up a little bit and what we could do now is probably just sleep for a little bit more so let's go ahead and close that atomic lamp we can see so well as soon as we turn that off uh see if we can just have a quick little rest and wake up before too long no we're going to sleep through the whole day 
Even though we were only a little bit tired, we slept through pretty much the whole day. Well, there you go. That's what happens. Okay, let's go ahead and have some of that clean water. And have another drink. Okay. Uh, we're a little hungry, so we should probably make ourselves some proper food. Uh, what are we going to make today? Meat pies. Good go-to. Pretty much a good go-to. We seem to enjoy it a decent amount. We could make a maple pie, just for a point of difference. Maybe we will. We've still got all of those acorns that we need to deal with. <laughs> we can make a lot. Eight hours to do 20. Yeah. Yeah, it would take quite a bit. <laughs> take quite a bit. I'm starting to think that the one of the best sources of cooking at the moment is probably going to be the charcoal smoker. It might take longer though. I don't know if it, it impacts the actual creation time. Just because we have so much charcoal. We have charcoal for days at the moment, so that's not an issue for us to actually make those foods. Uh, right. But we do still need to make food. Okay, so I'm probably just going to make a meat pie rather than a maple pie, just because the maple is a little bit harder for us to come by at the moment. Can't see the craft. Of course we can't. What about now? How about that? Okay. Oh, make some sugar. What do we need, though? What is it, what is it using? Just a charcoal smoker and, and nothing? Oh, there's something else down there that that I can't see. It's down the down the list. Okay, I was just like, how does it, how does that make sense? All right, so meat pie. Let's use the water nearby and let's use that for now. Boom, meat pie, fantastic. Let's go and just have pretty much all of it. There we go, nice. Okay, so we're wanting to have it read up uh, for mechanics now. Uh, so let's actually just go and move these across real quick because they're, they're now just recipe books for us. And the submachine gun handbook, yeah. I don't know why I put that there. Okay, so let's have a look. We wanna, we wanna start getting better at mechanics, so let's start scrolling through this. Electronics is something that we probably would need to learn about eventually as well, but I think for the time being, mechanics is kind of uh, where we are missing out on skill. Um, fabrication, trapping, cutting, electronics. Mechanics. Okay, right, but that's quite advanced, unfortunately. So that is not for us. Fab, electronics, tailoring. We've got to have something, right? I know we've got like under the hood, but maybe under the hood is uh, is still too basic. Damn it! Really? Is that the case? Because I know we had under the hood, right? Yeah, we have under the hood, but that only takes us up to three. Shoot. So we, we've essentially got a skill gap at the moment. Um, between this, yeah, it, Eternal Combustion Fundamentals requires four. So we're close, right? We've got to be close. What's our mechanics at at the moment? Mecha oh, we're, we're so close to leveling up. We're on 88. So we just need to take a car apart a little bit more, and that would uh, do it. Either that or just, yeah, I wonder if there's anything we can just remove from this or even add to it uh, to help us out. Maybe. That's where our clean water is, huh? Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm trying to remember what vehicles are kind of close by. We do have a horde kind of nearby, so we don't want to be going out the front right now. But if we are wanting to get our mechanics any higher, I wonder if we can just take parts off and put them back on. I wonder if that's a thing. What about just uh, removing the R lights and putting them back on? Let's see if that uh, helps this out at all, because that doesn't take very long to do. Let's check that out. Our oh, mechanics, where are you? 89. Okay, I think it actually did help a little bit. So let's go back there and go ahead and install our lights again. And uh, we should actually have a few um, flashlights nearby, so we should be able to do this. What I want to do, though, is go and hide our actual flashlight, because I don't want us to use that. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back onto here. We want to go ahead and install some our lights. And same thing here. Require it's it's taking about 60 minutes each time, but uh, it's not so bad. Let's have a look, see how we're doing. 90. Okay, so it is actually it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, so I think we want to do the same thing here as well. Go ahead and uh, missed it. God damn. Okay, atomic lamp. We can actually install it onto the vehicle itself. No, I don't think we want to. But what we probably would want to do is put the camera control system. <clears throat> Uh, over here. Um, 
which um, I kind of want it to be where we're sitting now, but um, I wonder if we can still, if we can have it here, just so it would, it would kind of actually be on the ground, but I would kind of imagine it being over this way, because I don't think we can have that seat, unless we remove this seat and actually put a vehicle seat in there, which is, uh, that's possible. Uh, so, let's see. We need to actually get off there to be able to do this deconstruction. Let's deconstruct that chair. So everything we need to make a vehicle chair should be there. Um, <clears throat> but what we need to do first is we need to make another wooden frame. So, let's just jump into here real quick, and we're going to search for frame. Wooden frame. Okay, go ahead and make a frame. Good, we just drop it on the ground. Okay, and so that is where we want to go ahead and install this new wooden frame. And we don't seem to be able to do it just yet. Why is that? Is it because of the things that are on the ground? Maybe. Let's go ahead and just shift them onto the same square as us. Okay. Now let's try again. Alright. Install. Why are we missing the wooden frame? Oh, we need nails. Okay. Right. Makes sense. It's the old nail situation yet again. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Get some nails. Uh, we'll do it just from here. Go ahead and deconstruct these. And let's go ahead and turn that back on. Auto pickup manager. We should have some nails up the top though. Still, I think we'll put it on for the time being. Uh, enable. Yes, we'll take those nails. Um, I'm just going to quickly go and check up the top. Because I'm pretty sure that we do have quite a few nails still. That's 12. I've, maybe if we build it from up here, we might be able to. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, okay, yeah, we picked up quite a few nails. Oh no, that's five. We might still not have enough yet. Let's see. No, we don't have enough. Okay, we're close though, we're close. Not too many more. Um, okay, there's got to be none hiding there, so we're just going to have to deconstruct a few more. Bits of pieces. Okay, that's at 18, so we're close. Deconstruct. Okay, 26, perfect. That's me. Okay, dusk. Let's get to work. Okay, nope. I keep on doing the wrong thing. So we're going to install a wooden frame right here. And we're just going to have it go... A vertical line. Okay, it took us a little while to do that. That's okay. Um, let's see. What we're going to try and do is install a seat there. Are we going to be able to do that though? Do we have any categories for seats? Cargo, light, utility, hull, internal, other. I guess it'd be not that kind of internal though. Let's just go all and see if we can search for seat. Foldable seat, gel seat, reclining seat. Reclining seat would be great. Uh, we require one seat. Okay, so I guess we need to build a seat first. Okay. Let's us go into here and attempt to build a seat. Okay, we can make a seat. Nice. We've got everything that we need to do that. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do it. We're actually using the welder to do it. Uh, use those leather patches. Okay, great. We built a seat. Fantastic. Let's have some of our meat pie. All of the meat pie, rather. And let's go ahead and install our seat here. Now, what do we want the seat to be? A reclining seat, probably. Reclining seat would be more comfortable, right? Um, what do, can you choose what direction the, f the seat faces? I wonder if it's based upon the direction that you place it. So I kind of just tried to place it then. Let's go reclining seat. Okay. Uh, it's facing that way. Is there any way to rotate it? I wonder? Not sure. Not sure about that. How's our mechanics doing? 95. Okay, so we're, we're pretty close now. Pretty close to getting it up. So now if we go to here and we attempt to install... I just don't think there's any way to turn that around, unfortunately. Because I know that... Yeah, I guess I guess this is the way that the vehicle is orientated. And it's going to point towards the, the top of the vehicle. Which I guess is... Yeah, it's, it's, it's up that way. So that, that kind of makes sense the way it's laid out on here. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense that it would do that. That is okay. We're going to go ahead and attempt to install cameras. So let's go install the camera control system. Okay. And how close are we now? 99. We're so close. Okay. 
Let's see. Let's come over to here, have a drink again. We're a little hungry, that's okay. We don't need too much more to be able to get our skill high enough that we will be able to use the other skill book. I'm just trying to see if there is anything else that we would want to install here. We it'd be great to be able to install a security camera on the outside. Um, and you know what? We can we can kind of do that now. Although, do we need power to be able to actually view that camera? I'll be interested to find that out. Let's go ahead and install a security camera on the outside. Will it ask us where we want to put it? Ah, so our mechanics needs to be four to place that. So we're actually pretty close. We're pretty close. Hmm. What else would we, would we want to put here? Hmm. I wonder if we can just straight up, you know, maybe, maybe this will be enough. If we repair this, is that enough? Repair the door? Yes, it is enough. Our mechanics is four. Okay. Well, that's what we wanted to do. But uh, now, uh, now I actually want, I'm interested to try and see if we can get this um, camera on the outside. So let's go install security camera. Okay, it's gonna take a little while to do. Okay, the security camera is installed. Let's see if we can repair that sucker. Ah, oh, it's gonna, no. Mechanics five, okay. Um, yeah, so I don't think we will be able to see it unless we kinda, of, unless we're near here. So maybe I do actually need to have some kind of controls here of some kind. So let's just, um, let's just see what we would need to do to install some controls. That's not control at all. That's not even close. Controls. Vehicle controls. Okay, electronic control unit. Drive by wire controls. Okay, let's have a look at making control. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. Um, we are quite over time today. We're quite over time. But uh, I'm going to see if I can quickly do this here. We do have the necessary materials. So let's go ahead and just use some of that scrap metal. Should have a lot of that and we have made some vehicle controls so let's go ahead and install them here do we want them to be electronic or do we want them not to be i'm not so sure um well we made them where did they go though because i thought we'd be able to install them here maybe we can't ah what do we need oh weird strange Oh, right. The welder is out of charge. Okay. All right. Well, that's all right. Let's uh, find our makeshift welder. Wherever that is. Let's just do a search. Oh, where are you, makeshift welder? Where are you currently? Where are you hiding? I know it's hiding around here somewhere. Let's see if we can track this sucker down. Okay. I'm not filtering. I'm... Yep, there we are. We, will, we are filtering now. Okay, now it's on everything. Okay, right. It's saying it is to the northeast. Weird. So it should be up here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I can see it. Go ahead and wield it, and let's just reload it. Not many batteries left. Not many left at all. We do have batteries and other things that I can take them out of, which we'll probably end up doing. Okay, now, let us attempt to install electronic control unit. Um, I'm guessing an electronic control unit is going to be better than the, the basic controls. Other than the fact that it might have a, a hissy about us not having the right materials. Control vehicle, turn on camera system. Camera system is turned on. Um, however, I don't think we are going to be able to see it because of power. Remember vehicle position. Okay. Yeah, we can see that. The camera system won't turn on. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's because of the uh, our batteries. Okay. Disable cru cruise control. So that's 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 what that's kind of good about this system is that if you were driving a vehicle in a straight line for a long time, you could turn on cruise control and then walk away. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And yeah, I know you're going to want to try and sit on those seats, which means that we, we are going to have to make the seats for them eventually. And I will just make them around the side there. But uh, yeah, our, our home network is spreading. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we will be able to get some solar panels rigged up. Um, I don't know what it takes to actually make the panels themselves. Let's just have a quick look before we wrap things up today. 
Reinforced solar panel, okay, but we don't have any, any recipes to actually make solar panels themselves just yet, so that's unfortunate, but we do have the quantum solar panel, that will be more than good enough if we can rig it. Uh, it's going to take us a while to get our skill high enough to be able to do that, but um, we can read that book now, The Fundamentals of Internal Combustion, which is going to take our mechanical skill up very, very high. And I think that's the next step that we're going to take. I'm going to try and get an um, you know, electricity working here. At the same time, in the, in the back of my mind, I am wanting to try and get those uh, alpha mutations up and running. However, we do have the problem in that it's going to be very difficult for us to do that without, you know, having access to another lab. Uh, we aren't going to be able to make those for a while. So what I'm going to need to be doing is making purifiers and just kind of trying to keep our mutations under control for a little while before we can go back out there and start searching for more labs. If I had to take a guess, I would say our best course of action is probably driving out to the east. And I do mean driving. We will need to make a vehicle of some kind. And it's probably not going to be like a, you know, a, gin, a ginormous kind of mobile death fortress, but I think we will try and get a vehicle of some kind up and running. Um, that, uh, yeah, I think, I think that'll be great. Uh, we just need a scout vehicle of sorts. We don't need to be bringing a huge amount of things back with us. It would be great if it does have a decent amount of carrying capacity, but uh, yeah, it's going to need to have at least three seats so that these uh, three friends can go along together but that is going to be in the next episode i hope you've enjoyed this one it's been great fun um we we went into town uh, we saw a tank um this is our first taste of mount auburn and we can see how bad it can get there luckily we didn't get kind of overwhelmed but we could see those hordes that were around the town we can't see them now because we're not there but um it's it's pretty it's pretty bad in those towns because they're so big um there is a much more there's much more space for them to actually generate those hordes so being noisy in town can be very very bad and us being close to that minefield meant that all of that noise was drawing them straight to us so it's good that we got out when we did and the fact that we managed to take on a migo in hand to hand is good as well okay that's me i'm gonna take a break from talking we've been doing a lot of that today i've been rykon this has been candy shanks pay gaffney and duskwood you have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned.